Welcome back to the channel, you curd nerds. I am here at Oshkosh with the E Beaver. Yes, you heard that correctly. An electric C plane. It's like 600 volts, too. Absolutely nuts. Now, I'm not going to sit here and ramble on about this thing because I had an opportunity to interview the chief technology officer for this amazing aircraft. By the way, it's just an STC, it's not a new whole type certificate, it's pretty much an engine swap. But I answered all of those questions in the interview. And if y'all have any other questions, make sure to put them in the comments. I'm at Oshkosh for another two days so I can come back, try and get the chief technology officer back out and answer y'all's questions that might not have gotten answered. So without further ado, let's get into it. Those right there on the back, what looks like they might be radiators, are actually, they're inverters. Yeah, they're so, the inverters. So they're what changes this thing from AC to DC, or from DC to AC, yeah, DC because it's... a battery or a fuel cell in this application, battery, okay. and then converts it to AC, and does all of the controls and the protection. So that's really like the brains of the system, with the motor being like the heart of the system. Okay. This little metal piece that you see here, that's the radiator. It's okay. It's a small radiator. Oh yeah, that is itty bitty, and it just... It just vents it down there. Absolutely. Um, now, those are batteries in the back. Those are the battery modules. I'm assuming you've been asked this a hundred different times. How long is this thing going to fly for? It's this is the complete opposite, right? This is the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the plane can fly with five passengers and a pilot for an hour's flight, including the reserve. So Harbour Air, who fly it up in Vancouver, they'll do 30 minutes of flight, 30 minutes of reserve, and that does everything that they needed to do. Yeah, because they're just doing tours, right? Yeah, they do scenic seaplane flights. Okay. Um, and then they also do point-to-point -point flights between the islands around Vancouver. Much smaller seaplane. Right. Um, what is? Th does this do better on its takeoff run, getting off the water? Absolutely, so, yeah. what would be like the equivalent horsepower that this is generating versus uh, gasoline equivalent? So it's the same horsepower. Okay. Right? But the thing is, the engine doesn't lapse with altitude whatsoever. You know, torque is so full with batteries. Yeah. So we're at our max gross weight, right, when we take mm -hmm. off, and max gross weight. Yeah. The climb performance is about twice the original. Uh, radial engine on the aircraft. Yeah. Part of that is aerodynamic improvements. So okay. Harbour Air redesigned the front and end of the aircraft. Yeah, the, the cowling is obviously yeah, exactly, different. Because the radial, you have normally like a radial cowling. So you get a lot of drag from that. From yeah. The air intakes, from the radiator, the cowling. And so this climb performance is much improved, but also cruise performance is much improved. Normally you need 63% thrust setting to maintain a straight level flight. With the electric, it's only 41%. Okay, so it's a pretty significant performance in, in, or increase in... Holy shit. on these is, I'm going to go for an hour flight and then charge it all day. No, no. So if you go for an hour flight, you charge for an hour. Oh. Right? And so what we do, with, like this is not like a car. Right? Okay. So what we do is we condition the batteries as we charge them. So the cooling is built into the charger itself. So it would be a megawatt level charger with the actual charger itself cooled internally, the cables are charged, and the charger itself delivers coolant to the batteries to cool the batteries oh, while they're charged. So it's not just like with a car, right? You've got your coolant lines for the batteries and whatnot that are in the car, but when you're charging it, there's no cooling offered. Yeah. But this thing, now, is it using just like seawater or is there coolant? No, no, so it'll be like a ethylene water glycol, something like that, right? Something that doesn't grow things or okay. <laughs> anything like that. So do you mind if I ask what he's working on? Yeah, so he's um, so we've been in the plaza here today for Innovation Day and now we're taking it back to our booth. So he's taking the wings off it to move it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah. if I pop up and take a look? Yeah, yeah. yeah. On the floats? I love how you kept it with the steam gauges. <laughs> Huge upgrade up front, but still steam gauges back here. Okay. Exactly. So yeah, we have a new panel for the engine display and that's it. Now, 
Now this is certified, like it's a certified aircraft. It's not certified yet. Okay. No. So we've flown it, we've done 89 flights and we're working towards certification. So, oh. so what's next? So what's next? So I'm the CTO of Magni X, so what's next for us is that we're going to certify the electric engine under the FAA. Okay. Then we'll work on the cross validation with Transport Canada and after that we perform, uh, get the supplemental type certificate on the aircraft with Transport Canada. Okay, so it's just an STC. Yeah. Oh well, that's that's awesome because I mean STCs are are a whole lot easier to deal with than. It's a new engine type certificate, so that's really the thing that's taking the, the, the time to develop and obviously for the battery. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate it. Um, don't worry about having to cut it. You know, we know obviously edit things, um, but I really do appreciate it. No problem, good to meet you. Thank Thanks. you. Uh, what was your name again? Uh, <laughs>